Hey, good morning everyone. It's Ryan from Resale CMY. We got 30 eBay orders going out this morning for $956.69. That is before the uh, shipping fees get taken out. Um, not the greatest weekend. Uh, we were on really good pace all week long. We listed really well. Uh, numbers this weekend just didn't hold up. Usually we're doing 1200 to 1500 but 956 is uh, not bad at all. Last weekend, the three-day weekend, we did like 3300 or so. So I'm going to show you those orders being pulled um, on camera today. I'm also going to show you our YouTube monetization board real quick. I'm going to just uh, touch up on one of our last deals numbers-wise as far as uh, G.I. Joe's. And... Um, I wanted to show you guys, this is the first time Kabas has been in the shop, my dog, since uh, he had his uh, surgery. So I'm going to show you his head. There's going to be some stitches here. It doesn't look too gross now or anything like that, but if you don't want to look look away right now, uh, you can see his head. Oh, he's looking weird here. Let me show you that. Yeah, there it is. So he's got a bunch of stitches right down the middle of his head there. Um, he had like a like a cyst or a growth like about that long. Uh, he's had a little one since he was a puppy and it just got slowly bigger and bigger and bigger. So it was starting to bug him. As you can see, he's doing fine right now. Uh, he's gonna miss Luna. Uh, my friend and business partner, Paul, is getting chemo today. So he won't be back till, he might come back tomorrow and help me ship or something for an hour. Usually he's back for a few hours on Wednesday, Thursday is probably going to be his first full day back. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show everyone Kabas because he wasn't in any of the videos last week. Going to pull 30 orders. Um, let me show you the monetization board for YouTube though. Last week was a good week. Um, did a bunch of videos, uh, did some YouTube shorts and the YouTube shorts are really helping. Let me turn on another light here. Uh, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, we just monetized two weeks ago um, with like 1,800 subs. I'll show you the board here. First week, we had 1,808, 1,818 subs. Sorry, that sounded weird. It put, stopped me dead on my tracks. Um, you can see the number of views are the bottom number. Uh, the underlying numbers are days where... I released a bunch of shorts. So the YouTube shorts tend to get a lot more views, but uh, they don't pay you as much or anything like that. The top number is the date, but the middle number here with the dollar signs is the dollars per day estimated. And you can see the first week, 1,818 subs. Um, that week we made like 12 bucks or so. Uh, second week we started with 1,836 subs. So we only got 18 subs, but look at the subs we got now. 1,917, so this one we only got 18 subs uh, for the whole week. This week though, we ended up getting, what is that, 81? I think that's 81 subs, yeah. 81 subs last week, so that's great. That's over a 10 average. Uh, like I said, the YouTube shorts are really helping out. I just wanna stop and thank everyone real quick before I keep talking about the board. Uh, the comments have been great. Um, we have certain people, you know who you are, going back and watching our whole playlist all the way back from when we first started trying to figure out YouTube and everything uh, before we even were on camera ourselves, just kind of guerrilla style showing items and stuff. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's been awesome. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, consider uh, subscribing with us and following along. We do eBay sales pretty much uh, daily, um, put out stuff that we like to find. I think during the summer, we'd probably do some more garage sale type videos. We'll do haul videos and stuff. Um, and I plan on keeping track of this monetization board being that we're brand, brand new to monetizing. I think it'd be kind of interesting to just kind of show the slow increase. We got a year and a half to into monetizing already without getting a penny. So this is starting off brand new for us. Uh, to go back to the board though, started the week, had uh, 156 views, no video that day, just got 68 cents, uh, 760 views, $2.24, 878, uh, $4.24, and what happens is, so if I put a video here, it gets a bunch of views, 
And then if I do another video the next day, not, all, not will it only get the views for that day, but the video from the day before is still a little bit alive. So kind of like, not exponentially increases the views, but it helps the, the subsequent day. Uh, the ones, like I said, are underlined are the days I released a bunch of shorts. So you can see the videos jump or the views jump up, but not the dollar figure there. But we on these days, we are getting a lot of subs. I think we got like 19 subs and 21 subs that day. Um, and that same thing, this, the views kind of carry over into the next day with the YouTube shorts. Um, but yeah, so we're starting the week off at 1,917. Let's see if we can get close to 2,000. Um, like I said, consider su subscribing with us and see where we can take this thing. Uh, at 2,000, we'll probably do another giveaway too. Uh, I should probably, we're already like six minutes into this video. Let me start pulling some orders here. I don't wanna make this like a you know, 45 minute video or anything like that. So like I said, 30 orders for $956.69. That is before the shipping fees get removed from that. So that's the total number coming to us. Let's see here. First thing, I did pull a few things already just because they're more difficult to pull on camera. Uh, some vinyl. And I got a bunch of keychains here. Last week I listed like probably 100 120 keychains and it's starting to pay off um we had so many of these like fob style ones right here leather um with a specific brand or whatever this first one here is a vintage buick uh black one there 14 dollars free shipping and then we're gonna go pull a gi joe i'll keep coming back to the ones that i pre-pulled or pulled already j7 Gonna be hot seat. Yep, 1989 hot seat figure, GI Joe. Just a loose figure by itself, no accessories or nothing like that. Uh, Twelve dollars thirty-four cents, free shipping. So it'll make like seven dollars before uh, other fees and stuff get taken out. I do want to point out, uh, just to refresh everyone's memory or tell people that don't know already, we did a huge GI Joe buy, forty-two hundred dollars. Last year, the last couple months of the year, we made back seventy-three or seven hundred, seven thousand three hundred and two dollars and ninety-five cents. So we're already way into the profit there. So far this year, uh, counting all the sales that I'm going to show you today too, from the G that came from the GI Joe buy, forty-two hundred and seventy-six dollars and fifty-three cents. So eleven thousand five hundred, roughly. Um, and then I checked on the computer and we still have like 6,500 listed probably another I don't want to say another thousand two less, but it might be pushing that so that, that deal is gonna end out end up great uh, The first vinyl that I have pulled already is a nice one. Paul's son listed this for us uh, He's been listing all our vinyl. We got this uh, Elvis Presley 1956 um I don't know where he's getting 1956 from. Oh, this time, January 1956, okay. Um, it's LSP-1382, it is brand new sealed. And this one sold for $40 free shipping. We do free shipping on our vinyl because it's media mail. Um, the single albums are typically under a pound, so it's only like four bucks or so. Uh, maybe towards five if it goes to two pounds. Um, S1. Usually I pull these ornaments too, but for some reason I didn't pull them. It's gonna be this Santa right here. Um, still selling ornaments. I think it's January 22nd. I only know that because my son's birthday is January 23rd and he turns 16 tomorrow. Uh, $9.49 free shipping yet again. Um, we'll only make like three bucks on that or so. All right, this is something I would say not to normally buy or anything like that. It just happened to be in a tote, and Paul decided to list it. Um, when we first started, it's got to be this, right? Yeah, when we first started um, buying stuff at garage sales seven, eight years ago, 
<laughs> you come across all this Avon stuff. And there's a little bit of money there. Just don't go buy a bunch of, of Avon stuff, though, in my opinion, unless you know exactly what ones are great. Um, this is an Avon Jaguar 2x2 car cologne decanter right here. It's inside the box. Uh, $8 plus shipping on that. Um, like I said, we buy giant collections a lot. Uh, that's how we get a lot of our inventory. You can see it all stacked up over there. Um, just happened to be part of that, one of those giant collections. And I just left the desk where another album was going out. Wes, what are you doing? Okay, it's going to be the Police Synchronicity. This one is out of it. Uh, not sealed, I should say. Uh, $15 free shipping. So again, it'll take like $4 or so to ship that one. We had a bunch of albums go out right in a row. This is LL Cool J. It's a single, Mama Said Knock You Out. Open in there. $17 free shipping. And then we got Guy Teddy's Jam. Um, what does that say? 1988. Another one of these singles here. Um, $10 free shipping. So we'll still get like $6 before the rest of the fees and stuff come out. And now we're going back to E3. Oh boy, this is going to be buried in here. All right, give me one second. I want to move this stuff around without breaking something. Okay, I'm back. Um, right here, it's going to be a ton of these like little birthday rings. It kind of reminds me of something you like give away uh, at like a birthday party and gift bags or whatnot. There's 23 of them. I said a ton, but a ton's not 23. Uh, Disney cartoon, like gumball prizes, you could call them too. There's Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Jiminy Cricket, Pinocchio, a whole bunch of uh, characters in there. A lot of duplicates. I just lotted them all up. 23 of them. Someone messaged, would I take $20 with free shipping? I had them at like $29.99 or something. Um, I just said, listen, I don't know what the shipping is going to cost. I'll do 18 plus shipping. And they ended up paying like six bucks to ship those because it's going to Honolulu, Hawaii. So 18 bucks on those. So happy to get those out. They've been listed a long while. Let's see. Dan's bookshelf, Star Trek. Is this it right here? Yeah, Paul must have just listed this the other day. I think it came out of this tote he was listing out of there. Yep, Star Trek, Technical Manual, uh, 1975. It's a really nice condition. Um, $20, free shipping. Again, this will go media mail. Pretty sure. Yeah, that can go media mail. Um, this one probably weigh two pounds, so it'll probably be more like $15 left before we pay the tax man. Here's a great sale. It's going to be number two, it's Under Earth Arcana. It's going to be this top one right here. So, uh, yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. Keep your eye out for this kind of stuff. This is a hardcover. It is number 2017. Uh, that's not the year, though. I think this one's 1985. I can't see the full title on my phone here. Um, yeah, this is going international. I priced ours up because the condition on all these books we had... Um, we're just really, really good. Took a little extra time to sell to the right people because of it being priced up, but $90 plus shipping on that. Um, just another nice Dungeons and Dragons sale right there. 90 bucks coming back from the arcade buy where I spent $1,120. Um, that's awesome. Dan's 22. Just a little modern deal here. Um, when we went out to Dan's, there was so much vintage stuff, but there was also all these like modern type, cheaper items. Um, you know, we grabbed them all too. We were grabbing everything basically that we thought we could sell. Spider-Man umbrella here, obviously new. Uh, like, a, I said new, but I meant modern again. But yeah, Spider-Man umbrella, $9.50. Uh, plus shipping. I mean, nice, you know, thing for a kid to use. Pretty cool. Happy to get nine bucks. And let me see here. 
Okay, next is on the bookshelf as well. And I think I did a YouTube short about this magazine and some other stuff the other day, so I know right where it is. Um, yeah, don't sleep on these older magazines. This is 1979 Ebony Magazine. Really, really nice condition. $18 plus shipping. I could sell that kind of stuff all day long. It's so easy to list, ship, everything. Okay, Dan's D1. So right here. And it's going to be this little flag. Uh, this is kind of like the same kind of deal as that Spider-Man umbrella. Just a more modern thing. It's a Winnie the Pooh flag. I'm not going to unfold it here. You can see it better in the screenshot. $12 free shipping. Super light. Just something that was in a tote. Paul's trying to make sure we get, you know, five, six dollars out of that after shipping. I'm going to stay here. Got another one of these keychains. You know, it's so many of them. It's a little time consuming uh, jamming them out just because of the volume. The, uh, each listing was super quick, but just there were so many. This El Dorado Cadillac keychain, $17.09 free shipping. I think it was a 5% off offer. Um, yeah, so I mean these cost you know four bucks or under to to ship every time, so we'll be left with thirteen dollars to pay taxes on. Um, let's see if I can get this next one too. Okay, that's still a ways away. Okay, Dan's box one hundred. So we had all these crappy uh, priority boxes that we've been using to store a lot of stuff when we did the Christmas ornaments. Um, you can see all the tops just literally rip right off these things. Uh, sun catcher. Looks like there's a quantity, a bunch of these sun catchers in there. Uh, there's some different styles though. This one though is 1986 frog sun catcher. Yeah, these are super light. Um, we have these little thin boxes that these slide right into. Um, and it'll ship for literally probably four ounces still. Uh, $11 free shipping. It only costs us like four bucks or so to ship that, maybe four and a half. Okay, Dan's shelf D. Where is it? It says Dan's shelf D. There should be two candlestick holders in here. Oh, right there. Okay, here's one. Okay, these are Wedgwood Sarah's Garden. That's not crazing right there. That is actually painted on to look like that. Um, there's one of them. And here's the other. Wedgwood sells pretty good for us. Um, yeah, Wedgwood Sarah's Garden, Queensware, 1997. Two candlestick holders there, so for $24 plus shipping. So happy with that one. D31. All right, it's gonna be this big bag. Happy this sold. Um, full price, too. Um, this is a big lot. These Laramie whales, sharks. Um, just a big lot. Paul had to clean all these up in the sink inside my house. Um, seven of them. They're all from way back in the day, too. Um, around the time, like, Jurassic Park toys were out, because these were all lotted up with the Jurassic Park toys we bought from the Baker Buy. Those seven right there sold for $30. Plus shipping, so very nice with those ones. That's an awesome sale. Here's another awesome sale. I also included this in the YouTube short the other day. Just because these blankets we've been doing so good with. This one has been open, but it's never been used. We've had so many of these come from Dan's house. I'm actually going to put this... Uh, I was going to put it on my desk. I'll just put it in Paul's chair. Um, you can see it has like this horse design on it. Big, thick, heavy-duty blanket. Um, there's the brand name, I mean, Carissia, I don't know. Uh, yeah, nice throw blanket there, $50 plus shipping. It's 80 inches by 60 inches. We made a ton of money off of uh, blankets. We actually just sold a Crown's, Crown Craft one, I think in the last video before this one, uh, $90 plus shipping. Okay, here's that keychain now. It's going to be another Cadillac one right there. That is $14 free shipping. So we'll be left with 10 on this one. We were 13 on that one. I think like 10 on that one too. So, you know, 30 plus dollars in keychains after shipping fees. That's, 
That's awesome. <laughs> um, hold on, I got my girlfriend calling me here. She's actually FaceTiming me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna go over here to J7. I'm gonna pull another G.I. Joe figure. It is Tunnel Rat? Yeah, I think Tunnel Rat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Tunnel Rat has got quite a few accessories there. He's got his weapon, looks like binoculars. Um, backpack. He is missing like two of these little flashbangs or flashlights that go on the bottom of his pack. So he's not complete. Still sold for $27 free shipping. And then this is a really, really nice sale and it took a really long time for this thing to sell. And I'm not positive what toad it's in. I think it's this one. These are a lot of the totes that came from inside. Um, Kabas loves plush, so I gotta be careful. I think it's this. Is that it? Yep, Dr. Seuss, that's gonna be it. Let me close this up before Kabas steals future orders. Speaking of uh, destroying orders, I pulled those keychains out this morning and they were on top of this glass tote and I went to push the lid down and I had two Care Bears glasses inside that box and I broke one of them so I had to stop a listing. It's over in Paul's garbage right now. Alright, but here's the sale. Um, it looks like a nice beige box. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to open this up so I'm going to pop a big screenshot right here over that. This is Lennox Grinch, Grinchiest Christmas, not Christmas, sorry. Grinchiest and Max Salt and Pepper Shaker, new inbox, $60 plus shipping. Check that out. TJ Maxx, $5.99. So, pretty cool retail arbitrage. Um, yeah, $60 plus shipping. It did take a while for that to sell. Okay, T4. Got a couple of glasses going out. Um, the last buy that we just did for 300 bucks, um, it's called the meth buy. Uh, go back in other videos if you want to see why, but it came with a whole tote that had tons of glasses in it. We pulled a $130 Garfield vase out of it, but it had a lot of these pint glasses too. These are two, uh, Paps Blue Ribbon glasses, seven and a half inches tall. I don't know if these are full pints, but... You know, pretty close. Um, two of them there, $9 plus shipping. Um, there's not a ton of money in that kind of stuff. Uh, it just depends on what those pint glasses say. We sold them lots of two for 15 bucks, lots of two for like nine like that. Um, like I said, it was all a big giant tote. They were all wrapped in paper towels. All we knew that there was a Garfield thing on top and we opened up like one or two and like, okay, this is a giant tote of glasses. We added it to the big pile that we bought for 300 bucks, and Paul's been listing them, and we sold a few of them so far. What's the matter, huh? You miss Luna? Yeah, Paul's dog's not here today, so he's gonna be a little stir crazy. Next one's right here in front of me. 1B. This is Star Viper, 1988. Uh, just the figure by itself. It does have some wear and stuff, but still sold for $13.29 free shipping. And next is going to be in box 301. It's not an ornament either. We already pulled the, uh, sun catcher or whatever. Um, just another random thing. All these are things that Paul's daughter lists for us. Check that out. Hallmark. These are, uh, party cups or whatnot. There's Stripe and the Gremlins. There's Gizmo. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So look, a pack of eight cups. Um, like for a birthday party or something, like I said. $19 free shipping. Something like this I feel like would sell better just because the subject on there. But honestly, that sat listed for months and months and months. And yeah, finally sold. Another album going out here. It's Elvis Golden Records. Uh, volume three out of three, uh, $23.74. It is sealed, but it is a notched one. 
showing that it was discounted back in the day. But yeah, still $23.74 on that. Um, very good. So we'll make over 19. You gotta stop whining, bud. Huh? You gotta stop whining. I'm almost done. I'll bring you outside as soon as I'm done here. Okay, next thing here. We got a nice note on this one. It says, Big Muppets Nerd here. Plus, I have the thermos for this, so I guess I needed it. LOL. Thanks, Mickey. McFlippins. Uh, let me get some better light here. There we go. Uh, McFlippins. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel. I just subscribed to it. Um, he bought a, uh, another thing from us before, too, a G.I. Joe figure. You got to stop. You got to stop. He bought a G.I. Joe figure from us, too. So thank you very much, man. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for subbing with us. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot of his channel right here. So if anyone else wants to check out a channel that's not too far from us, um, go check him out. And make sure you let him know that we sent you, too. I'm curious. I want to know how many people will go over there and sub to his channel as well. Uh, so thank you. Let me pull the item that you bought here. I almost moved on to the next thing. Dan's D. It's actually going to be behind... All this stuff right here. All right, there we go. Muppet Show, uh, 1978. It doesn't have the thermos, and I'll tell you why in a second. But yeah, just typical with these older ones, a little bit of rust and stuff like that. But overall, really nice condition, nice color. Um, got all the Muppets on there. There's a uh, animal jamming on the drums. I don't know all their names, but I remember him. Uh, Twenty-eight dollars forty-nine cents plus shipping on that. That's awesome. Thank you again so much, man. Um, the, I said that I would let you know why we didn't have the thermos for that. It was in a different tote. It was in a tote separate from that. Uh, I think it's even in a video like a month from a wait, uh, month back, um, where we had two thermoses random and a tote from Dan's. That happens with some of his stuff. We'll sell a piece of bedding, and then you know, two months later we'll open a thing up, and there's the, you know, the pillow covers for it. That so it would have been a whole set, or you know, in this case we had to we sold the thermos, and then here we are a month later. We came across look at that sun in my face. That's that low. Uh, I mean, it's early in the morning here. That sun's just starting to climb up over the hill. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much, man. I forgot what I was saying before that, but $28.50 plus shipping on that. That's an awesome sale. I love when that kind of stuff goes out. Here's another awesome sale. This is going to take me a second to... These are the five-inch glasses. So let me fold that. Let me fold this down. It's going to be this row right here. It's going to be a little difficult for me to pull these out. I'm gonna put them next to the lone surviving Care Bear. These glasses are cool. They're in great shape. This also, these are also glasses that came out of that same tote from the meth buy where I said, uh, <clears throat> where we had the uh, pint glasses just go out from and we had the Garfield thing. So this is why we just grab stuff and put it in piles, not, I mean, we knew some good stuff was in there. We just didn't know you know, how worth it it would be. But happy that these were in there. These are going to be nine vintage Pepsi collector series glasses. I'm trying to get them all out here one-handed. And not only in my one-handed, but my one hand I have, in my one hand I have my phone and the GoPro. So, all right, that should be all of them. I'm gonna leave them right here too until I uh, get ready to ship them. Yeah, so you see nine different glasses. They are the shorter ones. Uh, Tom and Jerry, Rocky and Bowwinkle, Wendy, Dudley Do-Right, Chili Willie, Woody the Woodpecker, and Underdog there. Really nice condition. Uh, they had them stored away really well, all individually wrapped. Lotted these nine up together, $60 plus shipping. Uh, we do have the taller style ones. Um, I forgot how many are in that one, like a... 15 or so and I think those are listed for like a hundred hundred and ten something like that So I'm gonna leave those there. I am gonna go to J4 though and pull another order Another GI Joe right here I got to be careful with this because it's loose in there and I don't want it to rattle around and break um, 
sold this figure a bunch of times already spirit 1984 this one does have his belt and his backpack with him uh 30 dollars free shipping on that so that's another nice figure and actually that is the last sale so 30 orders just under a thousand dollars we'll probably be left with like 800 825 or something after i ship all this stuff um kibas is dying to go outside and I rambled on a bunch about a bunch of different things this video. Um, thank you very much for the viewer sale. Go check out uh, McFlippin's channel. Uh, thank you very much for all the new subs and all the support we're finding here on YouTube. Um, I will also point out, you will see me do, uh, or me and Paul do some YouTube shorts going forward. Just they really help with the subs for our channel. And we're trying to get it out to as many people as possible. So you might see like uh, <clears throat> duplicate material. Like one of the shorts I did this weekend. I used the Dungeons and Dragons book, the blanket, and the Ebony magazine just to do a YouTube short. Like, hey, three random things that we just sold on eBay. Um, I didn't pull them. I like showed them in the video, but I didn't pull them because I wasn't ready to ship. It was yesterday. So... But yeah, you'll see duplicate stuff like that. Just trying to draw more people to the channel. Uh, let us know what you think, everyone, down in the comments. Hope everyone's doing good. Um, hope everyone just had a great weekend, just like we did. And uh, yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hopefully Paul will be in the next video and feeling well. Uh, thanks, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.